a nation of raiders. It's a nation of raiders. We a nation of raiders. It's a nation of raiders. We a nation of raiders. It's a nation. Hi, I am Mira Amiri and welcome to another audition of Inbounds with Oakland Raiders. Today I'm here with 11 years veteran, Khalif Bourne. How are you, Khalif? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good. Good. So how how does one survive playing in the NFL? A great question. Uh, it takes a lot of discipline, uh, a lot of physical work, obviously, but also what a lot of people um, don't feel or realize is that uh, it's also mental, too. And if you can keep your body in shape, you know, the body is what makes your... Uh, the body is your, uh, you know, your, um, it's your machine and it gets you paid. So the more you take care of it, uh, the better off you'll last. You know, if you think of like a good car, you want to put good car, good gas in your car and uh, you want to, you want to feed it the engine well. So that's what, how we kind of uh, take the approach of plan. You want to feed your body, your engine well. You want to make sure your mind is sharp as well as being physical. Um, and uh, I've been able to last for 11 years, so I've done a pretty good job at it. So, good. so what's the responsibilities of an offensive lineman? Uh, basically, we're like the personal protectors of a quarterback. If you uh, like, the president has a secret service. You know, guys that have that security around them. We um, we take care of them, so we protect them, and uh, we make sure that those uh, those other big guys on Sunday don't um, don't throw them to the ground and harass them. Okay, so you were an all academic selection in high school. Why mm -hmm. grade was so important to you? Uh, grades were important to me because I think my parents instilled that in me first. I wasn't ever allowed to play outside or uh, any or go out for any sports uh, if my grades weren't up to par. So that started at home, and once I had those uh, habits as a young boy, I just kind of kept those habits and always wanted to do that first and get it out of the way. And then I want to have more time to play. So it just came natural to me. And then once I formed that habit as a kid, I was able to take it with me through college and and uh, now. Can you give advice to the student high school athletes? on how to manage sports and grades? Yeah, some good advice would be to listen to whoever the guardian is, uh, whether it be parents, uh, counselors at the school, grandparents, anybody that's kind of overlooking and taking guardianship of those guys um, to, to, uh, to listen to them and to know that their best advice um, is gonna take them a long way. That's what I did and I found that um, I surrounded myself with good people that wanted to do the same things that I wanted to do. They wanted to have fun in school and wanted to have a good education as well as sports. I think both are equally as important. So once I surrounded myself with the same kind of um, people that wanted to do the same thing I did, uh, it kind of uh, it kind of made it easy for me. So that that would be one of the the uh, most important pieces of advice I can give these young kids nowadays to be a student athlete. So, uh, listen to your guardians, whoever's taking care of you, and uh, surround yourself with good people. And uh, those if you do those two things, you should go a long way in life. Out of all colleges, why did you pick University of Washington? Well, because they gave me a free uh, four years scholarship and I didn't have to pay for school. <laughs> no, also that too, and uh, I t only took two visits. I took a visit to Nevada and uh, I took a visit to Washington and after I went up there and they offered me the full scholarship, I was an 18-year-old kid and I figured I didn't have to pay for college and my parents didn't have to pay for it. Uh, it, was a, it was a prestige program, it had good academics and a good football program and I wanted to get away from home. I'm not a baby not a mama's boy. So I kind of wanted to leave my parents at home and kind of wanted to get away from school. So it was an easy decision for me. Okay, how is uh, college different from high school? College is different from high school because um, for one, uh, in high school you're not, in, you're not on scholarship. So if you're, not doing, if you're not taking care of business in college, you can be put on academic suspension, you can lose your scholarship. Um, and I think just, you know, obviously the competition is it's a lot better. You're taking all the kids that are great in high school and putting them all together in college. So not everybody's fast and everybody's strong and everybody's big. So um, you just have to learn how to separate yourself and still use the same habits that you use in high school. Just use the same formula that got you to college. Use the same formula uh, in, in, in college. And uh, you know, it's just a, lo a lot more on your plate. You're starting to become an adult. You're living on your own. You have to take care of business. You have to pay bills. So. Those are some of the differences, but if you, if you instill those habits that you've learned through grade school and high school to get you to where you were, then it should be easy for you and it should be habits. So, and uh, and you, should do, you should do well in them. What was it like growing up in San Diego? Uh, it was awesome. You know, we had the beach there and uh, 
We have the water, we have the ocean, we also have the mountains. So you could drive an hour in any direction and you could be in the mountains, the beach, the snow, um, whatever you wanted to do, it was there for you. And everybody down in San Diego is pretty relaxed. Their, their attitude, their demeanor is pretty calm, relaxed. There's a lot of surfing down there, a lot of fish tacos. So uh, the place is great, it has great weather. And uh, it was easy growing up as a kid there. It was very fun. What, why is it important for an NFL player to give back to the communities they play in? It's important because whether you want to or not, you're a role model and you're watched by everybody. So whether you know that the kid, that, that nine-year-old kid that's watching the game at home with his dad on Sunday, is, um, is, is paying attention to you or not, he is. That kid is looking at everything that you do, down from the, how you wear your shoes, to how do you handle yourself on the field and how you handle yourself off, off the field. So you just have to keep in mind that people are watching you all the time. Young kids, all the way to, to older people. So you have a whole wide range of everybody that's watching you. And so you wanna, be, you wanna set a good role model, you wanna, be a good, um, you wanna be a good example of how to conduct yourself in the community and you want to give back to people who are, who are less fortunate than you are. And uh, you just want to show people that you care and that we do play a great game and get paid well for it, but we also um, are human too and we need to take care of um, you know, the thing that makes this game go. Life is way more important than football, so if you can instill that back into the community, then those kids will get that and they can take off whether they want to play sports or not. They can get some good, um, they have good exposure to good role models in their life. Why, why should young people watch what they eat? Young people should watch what they eat because it carries on, it follow, it's like a ripple effect. It follows you down when you get older. Uh, everybody gets older, unfortunately. Everybody's metabolism slows, so you can't eat the things that you ate when you were younger. So, um, especially nowadays, you have child diabetes, you have a lot of kids that are overweight, right. eating the wrong things, eating McDonald's every day, a lot of candy. So. Just like I was talking about how academically and sports in high school, you have to have good habits. Um, the same thing with your lifestyle and how you eat. I'm not saying that you can't go out and enjoy some ice cream, but I'm also not saying to do it every day, not to eat pizza every day. Uh, get some good nu nutrients in your life. Get a good, well-balanced meal for at least five times out of the week. And uh, that carries over to how your brain works. You think well, when, you're nu when, you're nu uh, when your nutrition is good, and you're hydrated well with water and your body's good, your mind thinks well, you're not sluggish in the morning, and uh, it just sets your day up for the whole day. So you don't wanna be sluggish, you don't wanna be cloggy with your thinking, so uh, you don't wanna get the junk food in there. So you wanna use junk food for like occasionally, for like good things, celebra celebratory stuff. You graduate from high school, cool, do what you wanna do, but don't make it an everyday thing. Can you leave our audience with the, some word of wisdom, please? Leave them with a word of wisdom. Uh, yeah, I would say um, anybody who's taking care of you, your guardians, whether it be parents, grandparents, foster parents, anybody that's you know kind of taking guardianship of you, I advise you to listen to them. Uh, they've taken care of you for a reason, and they're giving you good advice. I don't believe that they'll steer you wrong. And also, surround yourself with good people in your life. Surround yourself with good people who want to do the same goals and have the same aspirations that you have. So when you do that, it becomes contagious and you want to have good people in your life and you want to aim for good goals. When you do the opposite and surround yourself with bad stuff, negative things, it tends to come around and it tends to happen to you and um, you get to lose out on opportunities. So I would say take the most, um, take the most that you can out of life, the most of your opportunities and have fun while you're doing it. And if you follow that, I think you'll be okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you. Sure. I am Mina Amiri and see you guys next time.